Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat, and today we're talking about a deck that loves forced combat, and especially forced combat at us. Let's jump right into it. So our commander is Kazul Tyrant of the Cliffs. For 3 red red, it's a 5-4 Ogre Warrior. Whenever a creature an opponent controls attacks, if you're the defending player, create a 3-3 red ogre creature token unless that creature's controller pays 3 mana. So unlike Ghostly Prison or Propaganda, we're actually encouraging people to attack us. Because if they don't pay the 3 mana, we're making a 3-3 Ogre, which means we can still actually block with that token. So if the opponent doesn't have Trample, we're always going to be able to block as long as they're not paying their taxes. So it's very important that we find ways to make our opponents attack. We can do this with cards like Warmonger, Hellkite, and Goblin Diplomat. Each creature is going to have to attack if able, which is really helpful, especially in this deck. We have War's Toll, which if a creature an opponent controls would attack all of their creatures, that opponent control has to attack as well. Shiny Impetus is going to be able to go to creature, and when that creature attacks, we get a treasure token. A really underrated card is Geode Rager. I know it costs 6 mana and it's a 4-3, but it has landfall, and so whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control, we can go to each creature target player controls. This can be very powerful, really in any deck, but in this one, it is especially good. Probably the best card in this deck is going to be Trove of Temptation. You may have never seen this card because it's not a good one, but in this deck, it is amazing. It's an enchantment that says each opponent must attack you or a planeswalker you control with at least one creature each combat if able. So in any other normal deck, this is horrible, especially because at the beginning of your end step, you get a treasure token just because one creature an opponent controls attacked you. That's horrible. But in this deck, we can end up getting a 3-3 Ogre as well, and we want our opponents to attack us because usually they're not going to have the three mana to pay or they just don't want to pay the three mana because they'd rather spend it on a spell they're going to be casting in their second main phase. Now, card draw is going to be really important because because this is a mono red deck and either mono red or mono white decks just don't do well with card draw. So let's talk about how we can do it in this deck. If you're playing a mono color deck and you could be any color, I recommend War Room and Endless Atlas. War Room is really cool because if you're a mono color, you're only going to lose one life. You do still have to pay three mana and tap it, but you're able to draw a card, which is really nice, especially besides just one card you draw each turn. Now it can go up to two or even with Endless Atlas, you pay two, tap it, draw a card. You can only activate this ability if you have three or more lands with the same name. Well, if you're a mono color deck or a mono red deck, you're going to have a lot of mountains. So it's very easy to draw a card off of Endless Atlas. Another great way to draw or exile cards is Outpost Siege. We can choose cons or dragons, but for this example, we're going to choose cons. So at the beginning of our upkeep, we're going to exile the top card of our library and until end of turn, we may play that. So if it's a land, we can play that for free. Or if it's a spell, it's like we're having another card in our hand, except our opponents can't interact with that card, which is really helpful. We also have two ways to become the Monarch. We have Court of Ire and Ember Wild Captain. When they enter the battlefield, we're going to become the Monarch, which for four and five mana, just to draw a card at our end step, isn't very good, but there's more than just becoming the Monarch with these cards. At our upkeep with Court of Ire, we can deal two damage to any target, but if we're the Monarch, we can deal seven damage to a player or a permanent instead. Ember Wild Captain is going to make it where whenever an opponent attacks us while we're the Monarch, this is going to deal damage to them equal to their hand size, which doesn't seem like it fits really well with the deck because we want players to attack us, but I mentioned this in another video. When we add Monarch to an EDH game, players go kind of crazy because card draw is like a drug, apparently. I love to draw cards, so I mean, some players might be crazy enough to attack us just to become the Monarch. Now, protecting Kazul is also really important, so we have cards like Mask of Avacyn and Mirror Shield. This is going to make it where our commander has Hexproof, which means we can still target it, but our opponents can no longer target Kazul. A really sweet card in the deck is Warstorm Surge. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under our control, we're going to deal damage equal to its power to any target, so every time we create a 3 3 Ogre, we can bolt something, which is really sweet, especially if somebody attacks us with five creatures and they choose not to pay the 15 mana, which is insane and a lot of mana, we can now deal 15 damage anywhere, and that's so, so good. Now, when we have a huge board, we can actually start winning the game with cards like Archetype of Aggression. This is going to make it where our creatures have trample and our opponents cannot gain or have trample, which is really helpful. We can also pump up our creatures with Dragon Throne of Tarkir. This isn't used a lot, and it's a weird way to give our creatures plus X plus X where X is the creature's power. We can equip it for three mana. This could be our commander, for example. And if we pay two and tap Kazul, we can now give each of our creatures plus five plus five. This is a great way to end the game. And last, we have Relentless Assault, which is going to give us an additional combat phase, which will hopefully let us be able to end the game with all of the tokens that we have from our commander. Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to purchase this deck, you can use the TCG link down below. It's going to help out the channel at no additional cost to you. If you'd like to purchase Alter Sleeves, you can
you can use the code triple mango threat for 5% off your order. If you'd like to become a patron, you can start seeing your name at the end of my videos, or you can have a deck tech video made just for you. Be sure to comment down below what you think of this deck and subscribe for more mango content. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.